Hello everyone, as we all know, melee weapons used to be incredibly powerful in Warframe and they were meta for a certain period just because of the pure damage output that you could do with melee weapons. Of course, not all of them, so keep that in mind, but I have a feeling that they might be making a slight resurgence back into the meta, if not actually being the meta, and that is only for one thing added in Citrine's last wish, and that is the topic of today's video. So, a little bit of pretenses of the gameplay itself and what I'm actually talking about. Now, the gameplay is done with Revenant, who doesn't apply any status effects, that's why I chose him and he can survive. Now, I do have Roar, but I do not use it in the gameplay. Now, on the screen, every time a gameplay switches up, I will be leaving the combo that I'm using. So, for example, I use the Nikona, which is gonna be right now, Nikona with the new core, I use the Cronin with the Epitaph, and, of course, so on and so forth. Now. You might be asking, well, Condition Overload has been here for a while. For people that don't know, Condition Overload is a mod that gives you 80% melee damage per status type affecting the target. Now, what does this actually consider? You might be saying, oh, wait, it's just the base four elements and then the combinations between those two. Keep in mind, it also counts impact, puncture, and slash, and plus the base elements, the combination of those base elements, void damage as well. It does also count the Kuva Nukor and the Nukor have a special invisible status effect called Microwave, which is also counted as a status effect. Now, of course, you're gonna be using a weapon, as I said, the Kuva Nukor and or Epitaph to prime your enemies. Now, you might be saying, well, we've been doing that for a long time, but secondary encumber comes here and saves the day. This is a new arcane added with Citrine's Last Wish. On status effect, you have a 24% chance to trigger a second random status effect. So, let's take into consideration, uh, we apply three status effects with our, let's say, primer. Let's say Kuva Nuka, for example. So that's three elements plus fourth, which is, of course, gonna be the microwave status effect. And then we have Viral on our melee weapon and also Slash and or uh, Impact. So we are up of a total of six elements, giving us a total bonus of 480% and add another random element, 560 damage. Now keep in mind, this won't happen all of the time. If, for example, you're even using a Panzer Profiler, which I purposely didn't choose to use in this gameplay, you'll be doing even more damage and switch up the ability, or I guess the element on your melee weapon for corrosive, and there you go, you will be doing insane amount of damage. Of course, the build is very important. Uh, these builds that I will be leaving on the screen are my builds, personal builds. I do not have magnetic on my Kuva new core. That's kind of a bad thing about me, but I, you know, I'll farm it one day when I can't be bothered to, you know, get myself a cool itch with magnetic Kuva new core. But why do I think this is going to be making a resurgence? Because, of course, previously you could do a hefty amount of damage. You could probably apply four or, or five status effects, but now you're going into the high sixes, sevens range. So keep that in mind. And you have to know that weapons of course that apply all three base elements or I guess base IPS damage types so impact puncture and slash will be doing even more damage for example even if you uh, you know get unlucky with secondary encumbered and let's say you have fire on your melee weapons or heat and then it applies heat you still are reducing the enemy armor which of course in turn gives you even more damage but if you're playing viral and slash you're pretty much set to be doing good damage as well basically what is my honest recommendation to do and what do i think then melee weapons are gonna become the meta first of all as fast as you can get secondary encumbered it's not that hard to get it'll take you up to around two hours i actually made like an extremely efficient uh video on how to get it without needing to play pay any platinum the little eye is up there so you can click on that and this is going to be a must-have arcane for the Epitaph and the Kuva Nukor. If you don't have this, you're just basically kicking your weapon in the knees and making it be worse on purpose. So get this. Is it gonna be the new meta? Well, time will only tell. I haven't really seen too many builds 
on the, I guess, uh, secondary encumbered. I haven't really seen big combinations. The three weapons that I choose are completely random weapons that I love using, the Nikon Prime, Cronin Prime, and uh, Dual Keras Prime, but there could be weapons that are even better with this. It's just I personally chose these three because these are the ones that I use on a daily basis. So, Test it out for yourself. Leave in the comment section down below what do you think of this? What do you think of the arcane itself? I will be trying to test out the new arcanes as well, seeing how they work. And basically, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.